the growth rate is declining gradually unless at steady state it becomes zero. Isi cheese ko we can represent it using another curve. So what I have done is since this n plus delta is constant, right? I have taken a horizontal curve that represents n plus delta, right? I have taken this curve because this is a an inverse relation. Ye inversely related hai capital se ye wala part. Capital is in the denominator. So as capital will increase, this will decrease. Right? So I have taken a downward sloping curve. And this downward sloping curve is this. S upon K to the power 1 minus alpha. Jahan pe ye equal to 0 ho gaya. Right? That means that this S upon K to the power 1 minus alpha is exactly equal to N plus delta. Mane growth rate of capital is 0. Wo to steady state ho gaya. That is steady state. So steady state is here. Jahan pe ye dono intersect kar gaya. That is my steady state. Okay. But if my economy is currently here, suppose, with this level of capital, so inka jo gap hai, gap between this and this, yehi to growth rate of capital hai. The gap between this and this, inka jo difference hai, the difference between these two, that itself is growth. So growth rate of capital is this gap. K dot by K is this gap. And you see that as I increase the level of my capital, ye gap kam hota ja hai. Here this gap is this much, then this gap is this much, then this gap is this much. So the gap keeps falling over time. Right? Till you reach this rate. This is another curve that represents exactly the same thing that we tried to explain there. So the difference between the two lines is representing k dot by k. The further an economy is below its steady state value of k, the faster the economy grows. Agar hum k se bohat niche hai, we are very, very further away from the steady state, then the growth rate is very big. But the closer I am to the steady state, then I will be experiencing lower and lower growth rates. Okay, so this is what this says.